It's Chris Angel coming at you for another episode of Marketing for the Rest of Us here in full glory. If you're listening to this, you can see that this is actually, I'm standing here with a bathroom, uh, a towel on after a bath, standing uh, half naked in front of my mirror <laughs> to prove a point, to let you in on something. All right, well, that's enough of that. Let's flip it around. Here's what I've noticed. Um, there, a year ago, there was a lesson uh, that I learned from Garrett White, um, where he said, uh, create, stabilize, maintain, protect. And this was inside of a conversation about your business, right? Create, stabilize, maintain, protect. And so in that moment, over a year ago, what opened up for me, what I saw for myself was that in business, I was constantly in a creation mode, create, 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 create. And it never moved to the other stages, right? And never moved to create, it never moved to stabilize, right? Create, stabilize, maintain, it never moved to maintain and then protect. I just was always in a creation mode, trying to find the next lead generation breakthrough and the next thing that was gonna break out. And, and, and so my life looked like a revolving door, right? It was never building results on the previous year's results. It was always like doing the same year over and over again. Can you relate to this so far? Like, think about in your business, you do uh, whatever income goal you did this year, whatever income you made this year, and then the next year you do something similar numbers-wise, though you may have gotten to that result in a different way, but it was the same number. And so it was just always create, 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 and never create, stabilize, maintain, protect. Now, that led me to some very big appreciations for what happens after creation? How do I stabilize the, even if I have a little bit of success, how do I stabilize that? Because that's a bright spot in my business. That's something that's working. How do I stabilize that? Then how do I maintain that and then protect it? Now, if you have these four stages, what happens is you can start to build on top of that. That's what allows your business to grow, not right year over year and not just repeat the same year over and over five years in a row. Now, Let's apply this to my body. Let's come back here for a second. Let's come back to the mirror. So here's where I'm at, right? I was at, uh, at the end of uh, Halloween, I was at 185 pounds. And today, this is 168 pounds. And if I flex a little bit for you there, you can actually see some stuff starting to come in. It's always better in person than, re than on the camera. But um, what I started to realize about my body and my health, in the past, what I did with my body was, create, create, create. So I'd work out. I worked out for six years. But what I did was I would move from one workout program to another workout program. And a lot of times because I got bored, right? So it's easy when you're in creation mode to get bored creating this way. And I'm like, well, let me go create a different way because the same creation gets boring. So I'd find a different workout program. I'd pick up a different eating habit, right? Like a different meal plan type of a deal. And so what I realized this is just a couple days ago now, after dropping from 185 to 168, which is where I'm at today, what I started to realize, yeah, thanks, Matt, I know, we'll keep the towel on, it's nice and tight. <laughs> what I realized about my health, right, and my, uh, my eating is that for the longest time, the goal was to see the six pack, that was the goal. But my strategy to get there was create, 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 create. It wasn't create, stabilize, maintain, protect. That was not my strategy. So what I realized the other day was I could get to the six pack I always wanted without having to lift a ton of weights, without having to do a ton of crunches. And I bet that around 160 to 160 or to 155, somewhere in there, 160 to 155 in that weight range, I bet these abs start to show up without all the other stuff. So what would it require me to do to get there? Here's what it would require that I I've already created this weight loss based on a particular plan that my health coach gave me, right? Thank you, Kara Sorensen. So uh, that is like, what is that? That's down like 18 pounds, 17, 18 pounds, I'm down. Now, if I just stay on the meal plan, which is not what I used to do, right? I get bored with the meal plan and go off, off track and create something new. But if I can maintain, if I can stabilize what I have and maintain what I'm doing for another six weeks, let's go another six weeks. Let's just go another six weeks. Let's not even think about another year, just another six weeks doing what I'm doing right now, maintaining, stabilizing, maintaining, and protecting what I'm already getting. My guess is I'll go down to 160 or even 155 pounds. And at 160 to 155, I'm guessing the abs will show up. So that's the point, right? The point is create the plan, 
create some action, create some movement. And when you start to see success, like I saw success from 185 pounds to 168 today, now I get to stabilize what it is I'm doing. And I'm listen, I'm telling you, since October, I've had a couple times where I've fallen off the wagon, where I've gone like completely sideways. And, I, and I'm like, okay, stabilize, stabilize, come back to the plan, come back and maintain. And, I, and you know what I noticed? When I came back and stabilized and maintained, I dropped back down. So I'd, I dropped and then I went back up to like 175. I'm like, dude, come back, come back to the plan. And I dropped again. Now, my guess is that if I, like I said, if I do this for another six weeks, I'll get down to about 160, 155. I've never been that low. The lowest I've been is 165. I'm interested and curious to see what my body feels like carrying 160 pounds or 155 pounds on this frame. I wonder if I, not, if I won't have more energy. I wonder, not to mention the apps. But the point, here's the point, gang. Let's take this home to you now, right? Let's bring this home to you now. Some of you in business and marketing are in constant creation mode. You're like, create, 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 and then you get bored, and so you find something new to create with, and you never stabilize the bright spots. You never stabilize what has worked for you. And let alone stabilize, you don't maintain it, and you never protect it. And so... You have to, and by the way, a lot of that's because none of you have built on a strategy. You're building on hustle and effort. Like that's your strategy. So in order to uh, stabilize, maintain, and protect, if, if you've built on effort and hours, you're going to burn out. Most of you don't have a strategy for growth. It's just hustle. It's like, let's go network. Let's talk to people. Let's figure it out. And that becomes really, and so this is why you're stuck in creation mode because it, it, how do you stabilize that? How do you maintain that? You can't. So you have to start figuring out, yeah, Brian says hustle, hustle wears out over time. Yeah, heck yeah, right. Now, as you get older, you start to realize you can't hustle like you could when you were younger, right? I don't have that energy anymore. So I get very selective about where I give my energy to now. It, partially to stabilize and maintain my focus, to protect my focus. But this process has allowed me in business to build this year. I'm coming off the best year I've ever had in business. It's allowed me to stabilize, maintain, and protect what it is I built while bringing in new things. I'm still able to create, but I'm bringing in new things on top of what I've already stabilized and protected. That's, that didn't be, used to be how it ever was for me. It was just always creation because I was building on hustle and effort. So... Here's where there is to look, gang. Where are you, where do you have no strategy, number one? Okay, because you can't stabilize, maintain, and protect around no strategy. So where do you have no strategy in your marketing? And let's just say marketing, because that's what this is ultimately about. That's what I'm here to help you with. What I do is help people with the marketing, because that's where most people struggle. So where in your marketing are you just relying on hustle, on effort, and hours? And then, what are you willing to do about that? What are you willing to do about that? Here's the cool part. If you have a simple plan, which is what my meal plan was, that's what had me lose 18 pounds in a month and in, in like five weeks, six weeks. It was meal plan. It was simply a plan. And then I stabilize, maintain, and protect around that plan. So for you, it's not complicated. It's not hard, but you do need some kind of a plan that feels right to you. And most people in marketing go find a plan that doesn't feel authentic or aligned with who they are. And so you're not consistent in it. You never stabilize around it. You never maintain it or protect it because it doesn't feel like you. You don't want to protect it. You don't want to stabilize around it. In fact, most of you just resent marketing, period. You wish you didn't have to do it. And rather than marketing being a self-expression for you, you just resist it and then you have to, then you're stuck forever in the create, 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 never stabilizing, maintaining, and protecting something that works for you. So if you'd like a plan around marketing that works for you, that feels aligned. I mean, that's what, that's where my heart is. My heart is in helping people find aligned, congruent, authentic marketing uh, strategies, approaches that actually not only leave you feeling good, but actually make the world a better place. How cool is that? That, that you could market in such a way that it leaves the world better than you found it, right? So if you'd, like to, if you'd like to learn about that, right? I have a six-week program called the Groundswell Method Intensive. Six weeks of going through stabilizing, maintaining, and protecting this 
particular approach to marketing, growing your business. And if you'd like to learn about that, you can go to groundswellmethod.com where there's a free video. And on the last page of that free video is an application button. Okay. So you just fill out the application and it comes to me. All right. So there you have it, gang. That is what there is to do. Here's to you. I'll see you tomorrow. Um, that wraps us up for tonight. Here's to you stabilizing, maintaining, and protecting the things you've created in your life that work. See you tomorrow.